On this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a temp shift job with no rate time definition. So if you've decided that maybe frameworks don't really work for your company, or maybe in this particular scenario, you want to create a job with different job rates, so you don't want to link it to a framework, all you need to do is when going into your company and going to the icon and creating a new temp job, and then temp shift, I'm going to show you how in here you can select to use no rate time definition. So this part, you're going to go and fill in as normal. So add in your job category. Notice when it populates in here, it then adds the same into here, but you can free type or amend that if you wish. Over here, make sure you go enter in the same one, and this will link to the AWR side of the system. Down here is the important part. So where it says rate time de definition type, we can see it's defaulting to time bands. But from the black button here, black file should I say, in here we can see there's an option of no RTD. So make sure you select that. Now if, if this is a one-off for you, you normally use frameworks, but it's a one-off, then it's fine to go and select from there as we just did. If you've decided as a company you're not gonna use frameworks, which is perfectly fine, um, and you're always gonna have no RTD, let us know because there's a setting in the admin side of the system where we can preset and default it to always come up and select no RTD as the default. So do let us know if you want that in the system. So once that's done, you can click on next. And then because you haven't linked to a framework, you're now gonna add in the rates for that job. So first of all, you always need to put in a base rate. Then you can put in either your markup or your percentage in this field here. And then if it's applicable, you can put in post AWR rates as well. And then down here in the rate section, where it says rate types, click into this section here, into this field, click on the black file from here. And then the first one you're always gonna select is base. So that is your base rate. Then you click in, and if you've got other rates applicable for this job, continue to add those in. So there's always a night shift here for my care job. And on that, if you do a night, you get paid double time. So you can go into the multiplier section and instead of one, we're going to put that to two for double time. And you, you just continue to add in your rates. And once you've done that, you can click on create job. So that's all you need to do when creating a job with no rate time definition. Just create the job, select the correct RTD type at the bottom and away you go.